Hi everybody, it's Woodhouse here. We're playing something a little bit different today. We're taking a quick look at Sailing Era, uh, a game by GY Games. I hope I'm pronouncing that uh, correctly. As you might be able to guess here, not exactly a, a, a Western-developed game. It's a, From what I understand, it's a Chinese-developed game. Um, but it seems to have uh, tiles in it, which means that I am interested in everything it has to, uh, to show us. Uh, this has been released today. Uh, very, very luckily for me, uh, there was a demo uh, released with it, meaning I didn't have to buy the game outright. So thank you very much. Uh, and that's why we're taking a look at it, seeing what we think. I, I mean, I already like the artwork that's going on, on in this. Uh, anime, uh, anime art styles are a way to my heart, uh, in case anyone's wondering. And. Um, yeah, these are settings. I can play with controller. Okay. I'm not going to though. <laughs> I'm gonna use my trusty mouse and keyboard, although my my G key appears, appears to be ghosting at the moment. So I, I'm not just ghosting, I'm g g g g g ghosting like I'm in Scooby-Doo. Um, okay, so please select the character you'd like to use in the story. So we have Andrew from Portugal, or Yunmu from the Ming Empire. I feel closer to home with Andrew, weirdly enough, being a white guy. So, yep, that's me down to a tee. That's exactly me. If I had my camera on right now, I'd be posing in exactly the same cheesy way with the same curly hair. A full head of hair, as you know, people who've watched this my stuff before, they all know that I have a full head of hair, and I'm very trim like this uh, young man is too. This is an exact replica of me on screen right now. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm just talking out my ass already. <laughs> oh man, I've just finished work. Uh, I all this week I've just been rained on all week. It's been absolutely awful. So uh, a thing like this comes up, and I want to I want to look at it. Uh, and I'm in a funny mood, honestly. So let's see how this goes. Um, age 19. I remember when I was 19. We've got character traits. It's a good start. Game advice. The story of an explorer who went to sea on a voyage to establish maritime routes, trade, and fight enemies along the way. Sounds like uh, a good uh, story for an adventure. Uh, we're a novice. We're a novice at this. I, I, I wouldn't say I'm a nautical person. I actually get quite seasick easily. So Andrew is going to take it easy this time around. In many parts of Europe, the word world originally meant the stage of life. People lived on land with limited boundaries to their lives. For a long period of time, people have been sailing to explore the larger world. Phoenicians, Greeks, Romans, Vikings, it was not until the Portuguese on the western frontiers of Europe set sail that the spark of ocean exploration finally co- I, I, I seem to remember um, the Vikings went to America, so I'm not, I'm not sure exploring uh, the ocean was thought of by the Portuguese. I'm, I'm not sure how how genuine that is. But anyway, let's continue. Finally coalesced into the seafaring boom that swept Europe, and thus began the Age of Exploration. During this era, ocean conquering became a symbol of courage, glory, and wealth. Every Portuguese dreamed of owning a ship and setting sail to make way in the world. And our hero too is such a dreamer. Dreamer. Nothing but a dreamer. Yeah, if you if you're not like 35 or older, you're not gonna know what that song is. <laughs> but hey. Okay, Lisbon. Yep. Uh, it's one of the busiest spots in Europe. There are many sailors here looking for a job at sea. That is a very noisy pub. Fucking heck. Okay. In their spare time between jobs, they drink in taverns and boast about their own skills. Not much has changed. <laughs> Okay, so no voice acting. Maybe just because he's a regular sailor, there's no voice acting. I mean, I'm not too surprised. Uh, as well, like, translated as this seems so far, I'd imagine uh, a Chinese company getting um, English voice actors for it. Uh, this game is $24.99, I believe. Uh, so it's not, it's not deemed as a triple A title. So... It's not surprising that there isn't uh, English voice acting. There might be Chinese voice acting, but not English. 
And that seems fine for the price point, honestly. Our ship has been completely destroyed by it, yet we can do nothing but lie down on deck and pray. The others held their breaths in anticipation and waited for the sailor to tell them the next part of the story. Meanwhile, at the corner of the cavern, the coolest part of the cavern, a young man was silently enjoying his wine, seemingly unaffected by the story, because he's the cool one. Mm. Andrew, what are you doing here all alone again? Aren't you going to head over and listen to their stories? <sighs> the only way that story will go is the ship will be shipwrecked on an island, and they'll find treasure there. I've heard countless stories that go the same way. Yeah, they may be around the same every single time, but I still can't avoid getting drawn into them. Stories alone can't satisfy me. A true man seeks to experience all that for himself. I'm going to be a great navigator. I've heard that so many times. Found any suitable jobs lately? Nope. Uh, short distance trade with short routes, blah 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 blah. Pointless. Ah, Dutch lady. Aha. Dressed as a scholar. I'm sure she seems incredibly safe. <laughs> like, what are we talking? We're talking like 1640 or something, like 400 years ago. Like, women walking around like without a, a chaperone. Going into taverns probably felt incredibly unsafe back then. <sighs> Especially when you dressed like that. That's the dress of a scholar. <laughs> <laughs> the ancient Greeks believed that the sun, moon, and stars revolved around our world. But someone has recently raised an objection to that and is in a, of the opinion that we revolve around the sun. So, who do you think is correct? Uh... Actually, I often observe the Polaris when I'm out at sea, and it looks to me that many stars revolve around it. So I think not all stars revolve around the same thing. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. You may not have given me an answer, but being able to cast doubt on a stalemate uh, statement with, with actual facts is very scientific of you. Yes, yeah, so let's talk about science with your anime cosplay outfit that you've got on there. Okay. So obviously, so far, this is very much a visual novel type of gameplay. Well, I say gameplay. <laughs> yes, the, the last captain lost his legs and arms. Okay, fair enough. Staff in the Mediterranean. Okay. Through Lady, uh, not sure how to tell this to you, but Africa doesn't really permit ships very well. It's kind of a, a landmass there. It's kind of a problem. I may not understand academic research or anything regarding brains, but I do know that you seek to do what ordinary people cannot accomplish, and that's something I refuse to miss. <laughs> yeah, okay. Why do I think this isn't going to go very smoothly? Uh... What? Who's Joyce? Okay, we just got given a ship. Uh, and that looks very much like a, a character that's used on the battle screen, so that's interesting. Uh, so Joyce is the, the anime scholar girl. Okay. Uh, youngest geographer, yep. Huh, okay. My, my, half of my family's from... Uh, oh, I, fin I forget how to pronounce that properly. But half my family's from there. I don't speak a lick of Dutch, by the way, so... Yeah. Ignorance is, is, uh, is something my family's good at. I don't know why I said that. I'm in a weird mood. Anyway. 
Captain Andrew. Very quick promotion there. Yep, we walked outside and found a new port. Uh, lots of facilities. Have to access the port. Makes sense. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. So maybe this is the kind of game that takes place over a long period of time. Huh. So are our character is gonna age then. This is interesting. Okay. Oh, found our first uh, spelling mistake. Well, obvious spelling mistake, anyway. Uh, all right, so things are happening. Uh, okay, game, give me everything all at once. I would like to open knowledge, I guess. Wow, okay, so there are lots of places to explore. Okay. Can, can, can I not just... No? I've got to use the scroll wheel and everything. Oh, Alaska's in there. So we do go to America at some point. Okay. Um... Set sail, go to the shipyard. Cool, okay. Fortuna's Deed. Andrew, so you're the new captain. <laughs> he fixed it up. It was really damaged when he got in. It's a great deal of effort on the hour, an hour part to get her fixed. I hope they let you know how long this is this is taken, by the way, because, like, not being an expert on ships or anything, but those things used to take a long time, from what little I understand. It used to take, like, months and months to fix ships. Okay. We got a ship. We've given some gold. Capitão, você está no lugar certo. All right, there you go. That's that's some Portuguese. I'm going to assume. Okay. This is a lot more like in depth than I was expecting. Honestly. Alright, what do we do now? <laughs> Go to the library. Okay. Uh, Quater? Is that... Is that how you pronounce that? The next stop is... The ship's ready. Okay. I mean, we just... Apparently the ship was broken and damaged, but now it's okay. Ah, yes, we need a noble in this game, obviously. We're going sailing, just on a whim. William, I know what we're going to do today. Obviously, you know, I'm Phineas in this uh, analogy here. Maritime Expedition. I wonder if this is going to be like the, the pretty boy kind of uh, romance guy who will literally see a woman and just go, Ah, yes, I'm interested already. I'm pretty certain that never happened. Like, the ship just belongs to everybody, according to... Okay. Everyone knows that you're well-versed in myths and legends from all over the world, Andrew. Oh, William, sorry. Yeah. Hmm. 
Oh, I misread him. Okay. He's not all about that woman. <laughs> oh, the music just looped. Very obviously so. <laughs> yes, fine, Andrew, you win. I'll spend the next two years on this ship. Even though I've never seen it. <laughs> I'll put off these readings for the next 18 months. Just so I can go gallivanting on the ocean. Okay. Oh, William just decided to give me 3,000... Uh... Game? <laughs> so, what I will say is this is the demo version of this. It's not the finished version. Um, so I'm assuming that there are going to be some sort of bugs in the the game that uh, are not in the finished version, I'm hoping. Oh, he's English, from Oxford University, who has mastered many languages, very much unlike me. The sign now rolls before we set sail. I can act as the temporary lookout. As for Miss Joyce, I'll be staying in the mapping room, of course. Alright. Cool. Uh... Set sail from the pier toward the port of Quater in the southeast of Lisbon. I say something of a side quest. Um, uh, yeah, there we go. How do we do that then? You say in fleet? Crap! There are so many menus. Holy moly. I was not expecting this. Uh, okay. I mean, so far this looks very nice. And it's definitely a lot more... Um, a lot more in-depth than I was expecting. I was, to be honest with you, like given the the price point and everything like that, I was expecting quite a simple game. But so far this isn't, and from the the pictures I've seen, like there there is some combat going on. So right, there's the mapping room. So obviously Joyce needs to go in there. I'll just drag her by her head into the mapping room. And William is the lookout, so he goes up in the crow's nest, right? Excellent. Okay, so we also have a warehouse. And then the captain's cabin. Uh, yeah. Okay. And we also have the pilot house. Huh. I always assumed that the... Connected to the ship's rudder where the helmsman maneuvers the ship. I always assumed that would be up here somewhere. <laughs> I guess that... I guess that shows how much of, of real sailing I actually know. Okay, so we've got positions for... We've got quite a few positions, actually. Uh, okay. Cool. Alright, so we did that. Uh, set sail. Yeah, I guess we set sail now. Job out of sea, and I'm even the captain. That is a very good point, Mr. Dockhand. Thank you for telling us. I like how we're having this conversation like we know this guy, but all we know is his name is Dockhand. Okay. Um... I don't know what I'm doing! I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Yet. Here we go. Okay. Uh, yeah. We don't have anything yet. 
How do we... Okay, so, in other words, the guy was telling us we, we don't have any supplies, so let's... Where do we get supplies from? The tavern, maybe? Capitão, você está no lugar certo. Well, it's not there, so... O que você gostaria de beber? This doesn't look like a place to buy food. I mean, it's a drinking place, but not a place for... Alright, well... Pronto para ir volejar? Okay, so, it just automatically does it if we press that. Okay. Uh, pressing the hold to start automatic supply. Okay. Alright, I guess we, I guess we set sail. Oh, wow, check this out. Huh. I wasn't expecting, like, a 3D rendered model of the sea. I mean, the, that's pretty cool, actually. I don't mind that at all. Okay. Time to give the order to heave up the anchor. Am I being sick? On the side of the ship? Because that... No, okay, that's... Maybe, maybe he's not like me. <laughs> uh... Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guy's a little bit full of himself, but alright. You kind of need that to be in charge. Not that I would know, but... Direct the ship's course. Lower with sails at the right time. Oh dear. Uh, okay. So I, I'm wondering if this is going to be sort of like a Oregon Trail type of thing when we're moving. Like, you know, random events will happen based on, you know. RNG. Okay. So, this is Portugal, I'm assuming. Quito is near the Strait of Gibraltar, which lies to the southeast of Lisbon. So is that there? Now the wind is blowing from the northwest, so it's that way? Alright. I, I mean... <laughs> here's me just thinking, just put it on the map. Yeah, just just use your phone. The GPS will be... will do all the, uh, the work for us. Okay. Trust me, that day will... <laughs> Jesus. We're really going to find out that Andrew's talking out of his ass, aren't we? Hand drawing by Joyce. It displays the direction of the next heading. Okay. So we actually control where we go. That's interesting. And we can... Right, so raise the sail with E. Oh, hang on, there are more pages. This game throws a lot at you straight away. I've got to say though, it seems well made so far. Uh, gradually age. W will the characters age? That's the thing I'm, I'm looking at though. I'm seeing like lots of uh, time-based things where like as time passes, things things will get better and there will be more people and blah blah blah. blah, blah. Okay, so we control that with the scroll wheel as well as... Alright, so, let's raise the sail. And then that way? 
Oh, I have to hold it. Oh, interesting. Okay. Right, so we're heading to Quetta, yeah, southeast of Lisbon, which I would assume is around here, right? So we've got our map in the top right. All our stats and everything is down here, right? Oh my god, I'm going to get everybody killed immediately. <laughs> We're going to crash. How did I... Uh, is it around here? I mean, that, that looks like the place. Oh, there's another ship. There's, there's lots of ships. Ah! <laughs> okay, what's this? Okay, we entered the port. Is this quite a... Hey! We did it. I did it. I didn't crash the ship. Everybody survived. Okay. Andrew and I will be taking this opportunity to go around Quetta and familiarize ourselves with the place. Hmm? Andrew does not look like he's having fun. Okay. Excellent. So we're going to the tavern. Where we will... We met you before, sir. I would like to meet some different people. You've never heard of Enrique. What, Inglesias? He was very famous in the 90s. And his dad before him. That's a terrible joke. Okay, interesting. There's the charge against the enemies of Quetta. <laughs> Do we not know who the enemies of Quetta are? Of course, and it is. Like, this seems quite vague. I, I, I'm not a fan of this sort of thing. It's just sort of... We're trying to make, like, a big deal of the backstory of this person, but with no specifics that are based on history. I mean, it's not like the Portuguese had zero enemies during those times. Like, the English... The English are usually a good one to, to point the finger at. Being English myself, I saw a picture the other day on Twitter. Basically, in the entire world, there are 22 countries in the entire world that have never been invaded by the UK. By England, I should say. Only 22. There's... There were a lot of countries in the world, but only 22 that we've never invaded. We've invaded everywhere else, so... Yeah. It's, uh, it's not a good bloodline to follow, is it? Ah! <laughs> Prince Enrique has achieved far more than that. He promoted the development of navigation techniques and established a maritime academy. Even making a statue of him on the Pillars of Hercules isn't too much. Huh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's recruit. Can we recruit sailors? Interesting. Okay, we just recruited 70 people. Just like that. To see the pillars of Hercules. <laughs> you see a uh, promontory. Wow. Okay. Now, is this is this one of those games where you have to write these things down? West six, north thirty six. Interesting. Well, tell you what, I have a pen and paper right here, so just in case. So it's north uh, thirty six and west six. Just, I'll just make a note of that. Oh, okay. It's really close by. That's how the world is. If you don't possess the required knowledge, you wouldn't recognize the treasure, even if it's right in front of you. That, apparently, that's a clue. But okay, alright. Uh, discovery clues will guide you to the location of a discovery. Locating a discovery will reward you with a significant amount of fleet XP, as well as precious treasures at times. So I wonder if this isn't a game that has like a specific narrative. It's more like hey, these things are going on and the ex exploration is the you know, is the uh, is the fun. I don't know. I mean, I'd have to play more to, to figure that out, but from what I've seen so far, 
I, I would imagine like a game such as this being so open-ended would kind of be difficult to be to have a narrative or a very you know closed closed one. Okay, so that desert rose looks interesting. Why are there percentages against it? Oh, I see. So is this does this show the price? Is that like eighty-four percent of the current market? So there's some trading going on. Okay, well let's. Why do these ones have that against them, and these don't? Uh, we could hide the instructions. There's the logbook. Oh, it's by the desert road. How can we not? Excuse me, I'm just fumbling around with the controls a little bit. Set off from Quetta and use Lookout along the western coast to search for the Pillars of Hercules. Okay, we can do that. Now that we have more sailors, we can assign them to do things. Uh, as interesting as all this is, by the way, I would like to get to some of the strategy combat of the game, honestly. Okay. Cool. Can... Alright, let's set sail. Is this just a loading screen? At first I thought it was pretty cool, but if this is if this is literally just a loading screen that is the same every time. That is a little less good. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, yep. Wind direction. So the wind direction is still that way. Right, and we need to go west 6, north 36. So it's further this way, right? The Pillars of Hercules. Cool. Okay. Hmm? I mean, I wasn't sure how they were going to what sort of like you know percentage of exploration versus uh, uh, visual novel versus like combat there would be i didn't think it would be hmm? literally this i thought they would for the demo they would do more of a like a cross section that showed you like little bits of 
each kind, different kind of gameplay, but... So far, as nicely made as this is, I, I wonder if it's a little bit long-winded for some people. Now where do we go? Oh, who are these guys? Oh, return. Return to port. Oh, pardon me. Pardon me. I'm just, um... Sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Just going out for a little voyage, apparently. Okay. We're back. Multiple chart is complete. Didn't expect it to be so difficult just to record the course between two ports. The nautical chart isn't as simple as drawing a line between the two points. The bays, islands, shores, everything has to be included. When it comes to dangerous areas, trenches, whirlpools, and hidden icebergs must be marked and labelled too. What about the monsters? What about the monsters on the edges of the pages? The volcanic ar arcola... Yep, this word. <laughs> I did wonder if I'd have to say this at some point. Archipelago. Archipelago? Archipelago. There we go. To the southwest. It's a long and tough distance to cover. So it's further down the coast of Africa. Oh, Madeira. Uh, must prepare more water and rations. Yep. Go to the port of Madeira, located on the south, uh, on the island southwest of Quito. Oh, I remember where that was on the map. Pronto para ir voltar? Um, full supplies. Cool. So, so, let's go. I want to get to Madeira. Yeah, this is just a loading screen, isn't it? I didn't realize, but it's a nice-looking loading screen. Actively declare war on a fleet and start a battle. I'm guessing I can't do that because I'm one ship. Alright, now we're sailing. Yeah, it's over here somewhere, right? What's this? Aha! Oh, I found some food. None of cut. What? What are you talking about? God damn it! I found things. You can't do anything with them. That's annoying. Uh. I don't see anything, Captain. Oh wait, what? Okay. Is it just because I pressed spacebar by accident? It's thinking I'm trying to declare war on something? Oh no! Okay. Captain, there's a fleet approaching. We're in trouble. Why the frown, Andrew? It's pirates! Yay! Combat! They're firing! Okay. ship is way better, just like a captain would say. <laughs> yes! Okay, what, what, how, what, wait, 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 how do we do this? How do we, fire! How, how do we, how do we fire? Oh, this is awkward, okay. Uh, shoot you, man, but... Okay, this is hard. Alright, I got... Can we... Is there an indicator? Yes, there is an indicator. Okay. Alright, let me get... Let me get closer. Let me get closer. 
Are oh, you firing the wrong way? Oh my god, okay. I was expecting, like, you know, tactics, not mini games. Dude, I, I, I'm right near these guys. What, what's going on? Catching you up, catching you up. Aha! A deck battle. Yes! Why are you firing over there? Is there no way to like control which way would right, let me let me Damn it oh, We got we got front guns okay Can we can we fire? Alright, I'm liking this a lot less, honestly. This is kind of awkward. Right, fire the front. There we go. That was. It was terrifying. The controls are not great. <laughs> Wait, how come we can pick all that up, but we couldn't pick up the food we found before? Interesting. Okay. I wonder if we could be pirates. I wonder if we could go up to other ships and, you know, try and blow them up to get their stuff. remember the, the map saying that it's over here. Oh, now that's more stuff to scavenge. We'll take it though. No, get out of the way. Weird, okay. The food count is off. Somebody's been eating food when they shouldn't be. Okay. I, I mean... How do we... Look, southwest of there is down here, so let's... Oh, more. More guys. Okay. Strange, they were clearly outmatched by us, yet they still attacked. It's a trap! Is this it? Is this it? Okay, hand to hand combat. Uh, da, 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 so as both fighters are going to. Okay. The animation on that is. Kind of weird. Sure. Okay. What do we, do we actually get control over this? I mean, it, I mean, what what's going on? Are we just Oh, I see. Uh, Tenny. Oh, damn. Okay, this is some anime shit.
This isn't what I assumed it would be. Quite honestly. Oh, we just destroyed those fools. Yeah, why not? This is more like Sweeker than One style of combat. Where you just like have basic actions and it's rock, paper, scissors. Does that mean we won? Wait, did we lose the game? Wait, we lost the game! What the hell? <laughs> we ran out of we ran out of sailors. What the hell? This is the tutorial. How did I run out of sailors? Okay, well, I'm gonna stop there because this seems interesting. Look, hey, if if you're a fan of sailing and exploration and uh, historical uh, adventures, then maybe this is a game for you, but um, that was sailing era. I would I would highly recommend playing the demo to see for yourself if you like it. Uh, it seems like a lot of menus and it was still very, very confusing to me. I felt like we didn't do anything wrong and we lost, apparently. So... See if it's for you. Um, it's not for me, uh, but uh, that was sailing era. Um, I'm going to be uploading some more demos of things later on this week. Uh, there's some more videos I have coming out on uh, character showcases for Fire Emblem Engage that is going to be coming out next Friday. Um, they're going to be up. So if you like what you've seen here and would like to see more, Obviously, less confusing videos. Because <laughs> this, this for me is... I, I I went on Steam, saw this on the Strategy RPG tab, and assumed that this would be a Strategy RPG. And whilst there are strategy elements to it, this is very much like a visual novel with light strategy in it type of game. This isn't what I was expecting. But that's it for today. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, Please like and subscribe, I guess. Um, otherwise, I'm going to be back doing actual strategy RPG stuff later. Um, but for now, that's going to do it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, I guess. <laughs> what a weird game. <laughs>